you are so much more powerful than you could ever imagine, and you can manifest your specific person right here in this moment, whether you think so or not, because you can say, yeah, but but we're not together, but they're not talking to me, but they ghosted me, but there's circumstances, but the third party, you could say all of that, that still is not taking you away from your ability to create and manifest and be whatever you want in this current moment. And today, today I'm up for a rant because honestly, you have so much amazing power You have so much ability within you to create whatever you want. I'm not allowing you to go another second without implementing it because if we feel as if we're stuck in the cycle, so let's say we've been trying to manifest and not creating exactly what we want. The thing is, we need to remember the thoughts, beliefs, and actions that got us to where we are in this current moment are not going to take us to where we want to go. So if you feel right now you've been manifesting, you've been trying, and again, talking to you, we're going to take you out of this state and get you with your specific person. Because no matter what, you could, again, give me all these excuses, give me all these circumstances that are in your way. You are just as close to your specific person as someone who is even worse or has triple the amount of circumstances or is about to marry their specific person and is engaged. You have the ability to flip, change, switch your state at any moment in time just as much as every single other person does. So you can say and act like all of these circumstances are working against you, but I'm here to tell you they absolutely are not. All we have to do is change our thoughts, change our beliefs, and change our actions, and we're going to see a totally different shift begin to occur. Because again, I want you to ask yourself, how do you feel a week ago, a month ago, or when you started manifesting with your specific person? How do you feel inwardly? How do you feel in regards to who you are and what you've done? And so the first answer to that can be that we don't feel any different, right? You feel exactly the same. But remember, in order to get something else, we need to do something different. But then, okay, then it's obvious, okay, we are not acting on and kind of revealing all this power within us because you have an unlimited amount of power to create anything you want, manifest anything with your specific person, and it's so much simpler than you could ever imagine. And actually the simplicity is the reason why we find it hard because our mind wants to overcomplicate it. But the second answer you can give to that original question, how different do you feel is, yeah, I feel loads different. So then I would like to ask just a follow-up question, how do we feel in regards, so change in regards to relationships? Because I'm done, (laughs) I'm done with everyone thinking, believing that they can't manifest their specific person or that circumstances are going to get in their way when they have so much power like you do. Your power is literally unlimited. I don't know if you know it. I think you know what unlimited means, actually. It does not end. It's infinite. You can change. You can create. You can manifest. You can have whatever you want in this moment. Think of having, (laughs) when you realize that you've had this much power all along and have just been kind of not really fully utilizing it, it's going to blow your mind. But this is you in this current moment. And that's okay because sometimes understanding or accepting that much power can absolutely be mind boggling. It can kind of blow our minds to think, can I actually change and create right here and right now? But look around you. You're always manifesting, right? And so if we were to answer that next question, how do we feel in regards to relationships? So a month ago, a week ago, whenever, whenever we expected this change, whenever we started to worry about our manifestation, how different do we feel in regards to a relationship? And I'll bet you, honestly, we'll say and feel that we don't feel that much different. But again, go back to that thinking. In order to create, we to create something different, to create a new level of thinking, we need a new level of understanding and a new mindset, state, and consciousness in regards to what we want to do. Because your current state, what you're seeing in your reality, you're just really good at creating, okay? And there's nothing good or bad in that. But if it is something you don't want, we need to pull ourselves out of this. Because whether you believe it or not, you can totally deny this. You can totally be like, Kyle, you're out of your mind. That's crazy. You can say all of that. It does not take you away from your power to create and manifest in this current moment. It just has to do with your state and what you assume you can be and your I am-ness. 
So I am this, who you say you are and your ability and your consciousness because your consciousness is everything, okay? You have the ability to be happy, sad, abundant, positive, depressed all right now. You can pick and choose either of those and you always have the capability of doing it. This is the same thing with everything in your reality. You have the choice to be loved, desired, wealthy, poverty stricken, all of that in this current moment. That's your consciousness. But then let's take a step down. Now we feel we are Kyle or you are you, but now you have limited your ability or your scope of what you could do based on what Kyle can do or what you can do. And by doing this, we end up in this cycle. Again, we try to do the same things over and over again without getting much results because we think we're stuck in this identity of who we are. But this is just our current set of beliefs and you can change and you can alter this at any point in time if you just remember that you are connected to this higher power that can create and have anything. Again, really basically think about it in your consciousness. You can just be confident, right? What's stopping you from being confident right now? And you might say, oh, because of these things that have happened in my reality. Well, guess what? Those are just thoughts within our mind. Literally, this memory is just a thought within your mind. It's impacting us only because we're allowing it to impact us and we constantly go over it and over it within our mind. And so if you want to get successes, like the ones I'm about to put up on the board, like this person from email coaching, there were, I did the affirmations and he came back in my life two days later. If you want that level of success or this next one that wrote again from email coaching about Kyle, he came back and he told me he loves me. These are the first two success stories I had in my little folder of manifestation. If you want these successes, you need to remember whether you think so or not, you have the capability of creating just these right here and right now. And this is, again, you have whether you believe me or not does not take you outside of this power because I know sometimes we see success stories and we think, oh my gosh, how can I do this? Why are they getting success and I'm not? That's not the case. You're, you're just as close to every single success as every single other person in existence. You are just as close to someone who's about to be engaged and married right now with your specific person. Now, our circumstances and our beliefs and our things like that, our, I am, our I'm amness of who you feel you are, that's what's limiting you or stopping you. Okay, that's the only thing kind of creating something we don't want. So all we have to do is disconnect from this. Remember your power that you are creating and have within you at this very moment. You have unlimited consciousness. You are this higher state. You are this God in this body. And so whenever you say that you are limited, you're saying that God is unlimited or your higher state is limited. If you say, I just can't do this thing, you're saying God can't do this thing. And I want to even make another video about that because it's something that was on my mind and can absolutely dominate or allow you to really exhibit and control this power. But just remember, when you say you can't do something, you're saying God can't do something because you, so think about it. I and my father are one, but my father is greater than I. Think of that quote. Think of what Neville Goddard would say about that. You are saying, if you can't do something, you're limiting your higher self, you're limiting God. And so would you say that's even possible? Can you ever limit God? Can you ever limit your higher self? And you say, no, that's literally impossible. And by definition, they can create and have and do anything, right? So you can create, have, and do anything. And so I just wanted to, because... I want to make sure that you are living to your most massive potential that's within you right now that you can create that is always, always capable of exhibiting, expelling, controlling. You never were without this power. I just want every single person watching this video to understand this. And I know I don't normally do rants, but I was just in the mood to create this um, because I hate, I, I don't hate I really dislike whenever someone limits themselves. If you feel limited right now, that is not true. That is something you absolutely, is absolutely the most untrue thing that I've ever heard. You can believe it. You can say it. You can do whatever. I hate when people say that they are limited or they can't do something because it's just not true. You can say that, whatever. You can speak to me. Tell me all the reasons why. Tell me to this screen right now in the comment section, all the reasons why you can't be with your specific person that is not going to persuade me into thinking that you can't do it. You literally are just as close as literally every single other person. You can make the list a thousand, a million circumstances against you. You are just as close with someone with one circumstance or none. You are just as close. There is no separation. There's no difference because each state is just one that we are exhibiting. So remember that. There's no disconnection that you have from this God state, from this higher power, from this ability of this consciousness, this I amness 
to create and have everything that you want. And again, hopefully, <laughs> let me know if you guys like these rants because I just I just, just let this out because I'm, I'm done with people doubting themselves. I'm done with people feeling as if they can't do it. I'm done with people. I'm done with you thinking that it's impossible to manifest or that you think that your specific person, it blows my mind right now that you don't think your specific person wants to be with you or is begging to desire you, be with you, um, marry you, be in a relationship with you right now. The fact that you don't believe this, and I bet you do. You do now. I bet you actually do right now, right here and right now. And this is just making my heart feel so much warmer and so much lighter knowing that you now know your power and that you know you can create and have anything in this reality. Again, write, write the list of circumstances. I'll tell you perfectly fine. There's literally nothing in between you and your manifestation except a choice that we can make within right here in this moment. Again, the one success was a couple of days, the other one was a couple of weeks. And so I would not worry about time because again, time doesn't mean anything. You've always had the choice to pick and choose it right now. So make the choice right here in this video that you are no longer accepting anything less. You're no longer not exhibiting your true power. You're no longer doubting yourself and you are with your specific person.